Welcome to my YouTube channel where we demonstrate and discuss everything related to theatrical and entertainment production crafts. Please subscribe to get the latest updates, posts, and demonstrations. While I will focus primarily on safety in the shops and comprehensive training and operating procedures for tools and machinery, I'll also demonstrate and discuss practical applications like flat and platform construction, scene painting, and more. If you'd like to see something specific, please let me know in the comments. Once again, please subscribe and power up the alert bell to get the most up-to-date notifications about new content. You may want to use a bit adapter. These are designed to hold the bit and some of them have this other sliding sheath that allow you to hide the screw inside so you don't have to hold it with your fingers. You don't have to risk smashing your fingers. You don't have to risk getting your fingers cut up with the threads of the drill bit. This one has the shank that will fit the impact driver. So I'm going to use the impact driver for this one. I'm going to use a one and a quarter inch screw because if I use one and five eighths, it's gonna go through my two pieces of wood and into my counter. And I don't wanna ruin my counter. The screw goes in, is held in by the bit. You can slide this all the way to the forward. Little tip pointing out. You put it exactly where you want it. The theory is that you push down and it stops, but I find that I don't know where the bit is and it's real easy to overdrive them and oversync them. So if you're using this adapter, you need to use it to get started on the screw. But then once you're nice and stable, you pull this back so that you can see where it goes and you can control it and only get it just as far as you want. This is an added feature to help you control your driving and make it easier for you to drive and not smash your fingers. I don't really use them because it gets in the way. I'd rather just see what I'm doing all the time rather than have it be part way hidden. But it does make it easier if you're not wanting to smash your fingers. We talked about the Torx head bit a little bit in our introduction. This is the Torx head bit. This is the T25. It, the Torx or the T25 has the six stars as opposed to the plus feature of the Phillips bit. And this is what a Phillips bit looks like and what a Torx bit looks like. I've started using these at home a lot and pretty much exclusively now. They tend to slip less. They, they just make it easier. Um, it even holds the screw better just by its own nature. Torx bits. These are your three sizes of screw driving bits that you will be using. You will most likely be using the number two. The number two has the right size for most of the drywall screws and construction screws that we use. The number one has a tinier tip on it and is used for smaller screws with smaller heads that this won't fit into. And then the number three is even bigger head for larger screws, number 10, number 12, number 14, and that size of screws. You need to use the appropriate screw driving bit for the size of screw that you're using. They are not determined by color. This one is gold. This is a different brand. It's a Milwaukee with a red middle, a black shank, and a silver tip. This one's also gold. This number two is gold. This one is silver or bluish silver, and this one's a darker gray. They are just colored by the manufacturer and the style, not color coded by size. These three numbers match up with your standard screwdriver. This is a number three Phillips screwdriver. This is a number two Phillips screwdriver. This is a number one Phillips screwdriver. And often they will be marked on the handle. Three point your standard drywall screw takes a number two. It's a standard drywall screw is a number eight screw and it fits in nice and smoothly. It's tight, it doesn't wobble around. That's a good fit. If you use the number one, you'll notice that it wobbles around a lot. And because it wobbles around a lot, you're likely gonna strip the screw or strip the bit. And you'll notice the number three doesn't fit in there at all. 
The number one bit is usually for size six screws, although this one feels like it might also fit a number two bit. Yes, it does. This number six screw is good for a number two. And the number eight screw is good for number two. But the minute you move up to number 10, the head is bigger and you put the number two in and now the number two bit wobbles around. So that's when you need to go up to the number three bit because the number three bit fits nice and snugly. This is where if you definitely use a number two bit in the screw size for the number three bit, it's going to strip out the screw head. So that was number 10, this is number 12 with the three bit, number three bit. And this is a size 14 screw with a number three bit. How do you know what size your screw is? Well, we have a handy little gauge here in the tool room by the tape measure. Yeah, this is the number six. This one was a number eight. This one is number 10, fits nicely in the number 10 slot. This was the number 14, which actually coincides also with the quarter inch. Um, and this gauge does not have a number 12. And I said the drywall screws were eight, they might actually be six. And then you've got all the different sizes for your different size bolts. You've got your metrics. You've got all these different features. So this is a handy gauge when you're trying to figure out what's what. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time with more technical theater content.